Hello, I'm Des Arrow, and this is a What I'm Thinking debrief for the week of February 23rd, 2014. As I'm sure most of you have noticed, I haven't been around for the last few months. I took an extended break from World of Tanks. After nearly three years of tanking, I became burnt out and frustrated with the game. A little break was definitely in order, which ultimately turned into a much longer break. Nearly five months later, I'm finally playing tanks again. One thing I can tell you about taking a break is how quickly the rust accumulates. A week off is not really a big deal and can be quite refreshing. A month off is really where the rust starts to accumulate, and it gets pretty bad after several months. I'm still getting comfortable with the game again, and I'm definitely not playing as well as I was before the break. It doesn't help that the game meta has changed a bit while I was gone. While it will take a little while to start making new regular series videos as I deleted all my old replays, that won't keep me from making semi-regular debrief videos with a match of the week thrown in. Speaking of which, it's time for the MATCH OF THE WEEK! The replay that I'll be looking at is a solo battle from February 26th on Lakeville in my T-71. As noted on the loading screen, this is a standard battle. Reviewing tank composition for this battle reveals the following. This is a tier 9 battle with 3 tier 9s and 5 tier 8s on each team. My team has 6 tier 7s while the enemy team has 4 tier 7s, a tier 6, and a tier 5 scout. Both teams have a tier 8 arty piece. My team has a slight hardware advantage with no tier 6s or 5s. Technically, I'm the scout tank for my team, while the enemy team has an ELC AMX. I don't recognize anyone in this battle. As the match loads in, I've decided to go up the middle road to the E4 area. This location gives good spotting opportunities on any enemies headed towards town. Speed and camo are the key here as there is almost no soft cover on the middle road anymore due to the developers defoliating this area of the map. Light tanks have the advantage of maintaining their camo rating even when they're moving. And I have a 100% camo crew on this tank. As the battle gets underway, I'm immediately going to start heading up the middle road. Going to utilize the T-71 speed to try to get to this location before the enemy can spot me back. I've got a panther behind me. The team is starting to spread out. Hopefully someone's paying attention. We'll get shots. I get caught up on the rock a little bit. Spot an enemy Tiger 2. I'm going to try to line him up. And I get a critical hit. Take another shot and I miss. Trying to line up the Tiger, do a little bit better job of leading him, and I get a hit. Get a bounce, and I've got no targets. KV-4, but I notice a Type 64 charging up towards me. I'm backing out of this position to try to minimize his ram damage. I do take some ramming damage. I am in the process of reloading my clip. My teammates are putting fire on him. He's down to 63 hit points. I'm staying close. Get around to his other side. Reload my clip, and I knock him down. Now I'm going to maneuver out of the middle. There's an IS behind me. Our Panther gets knocked down right in front of me. Near miss by Artie. I get hit by the 5100. I'm going to die behind this rock here for cover. I wanted to note my team's distribution at this point in the match. You'll note that there are four tanks in the valley with no top tiers in that location. The valley is not the key to this map and any more than four tanks is a waste of resources. The Tiger and my T-71 are covering the middle road with the rest of the team committed to town. This is a fairly optimal distribution. There are enough tanks to keep the enemy honest in the valley and middle road. If the enemy pushes the valley hard with numerous tanks, the town team can rotate back to help if necessary. Also of note is a new mod that I'm running, which is a damage panel mod by Gambit ER. I've blown up that section of the screen so it's clear. This mod shows every hit you take, including what type of tank hit you, how much damage they did, and what type of ammo they used. Since the mod tells you what tank did the damage, it lets you know who's shooting at you, even if they haven't been spotted. This is a pretty big advantage in helping to figure out where the enemy is. It's also handy to know who's slinging premium ammo. There's an unintentional consequence here. My clip is finished reloading, and I notice that I can't get out of this location. I cannot get purchase on this slope at all. Another arty round lands next to me. Likely blind firing. I don't think I'm spotted. In an attempt to get behind hard cover, I've maneuvered into a position that I don't seem to be able to escape from. I've seen tanks get trapped in this location before, but I wasn't aware that I wouldn't be able to get out of this particular spot. I make a few attempts to escape, but I'm afraid of sliding into the lake, so I take up a position behind the lone bush down here and hope the enemy comes into my sights. I can still be useful to my team even stuck in this location. Rhombus in town. And a Tiger 2. Couldn't quite snap my shot fast enough, but I hit the 5100. He was coming around the church. Get a second hit. 
he's in cover. Trying to get a spot on the Tiger 2. Take a snapshot and I miss. Spot a Tiger. I bounce off his front. He comes out of cover. I miss my second shot. Line him up. Get a shot through the front and light him on fire. And I'm reloading now and the Tiger is burning down. Surprised he didn't have a fire extinguisher handy. And he blows up. Knocking him down. Keeping an eye on the 5100, which was to my left. The rhombus is behind the church. The enemy has no other tanks spotted in town. There's the Super Pershing. Not much I can do right now. I'm just going to sit here. I'm going to be patient. Hope the enemy comes back into my sights. They knocked down the 5100. They also knocked down the IS-8 that was in the valley. I'm going to make another attempt to escape here. As there isn't much action. And I'm also concerned about the IS on the middle road. He's taking fire from town, though. Our Tiger should be able to get shots on him as well. Already missed on the IS. Still trying to get out of this spot. Still concerned about the IS, and I want to protect our Tiger if I can. But the Tiger's doing a good job on his own up there. I notice there's some more action in town, so I maneuver back to the bush. There is a KV-3 coming into town, but I haven't noticed him. There's an ST-1. Unfortunately, I'm not able to penetrate him from the front. Snap off some shots. I think I tracked him there. Bounce around. Missed my last shot. I was trying to shoot over him and hit the KV-4 in the side. No luck there. Reloading again. Notice the KV-3. It was just snuck out of cover. He disappears, but I'm going to stay trained on him just in case. He begins to back up. I'm not expecting him to back all the way out, although he continues to back up. And I'm getting flank shots now. Second hit. Third hit. Fourth hit, I knock him down. Two shots left. That ST1 was right at the corner of the church. I snapped my shot off a little too quickly, and I missed. And I'm going to reload now. The ST1 gets caught on fire, and he burns down. Just the KV-4 left, and they knock him down. The enemies have been cleared out of town. With town taken and the remaining enemies in the valley, I make another attempt to escape this location. See if I can gain purchase and get back up to this rock. It's slow going, but I'm making progress. Slide into the rock, but I've made it back to where I was when I first got down here. I use my tank's body to lever myself partway up. And now I'm looking for an angle to pull out of here. Work on my way, staying off the rocks. And I get out, and I'm free. While I don't know if I'll be able to get back into the battle in time, I still make an effort. Flanking up through the valley will help put pressure on the enemy Yag Tiger that's in a good standoff position for my teammates coming from the west. There's already spotted a K2. I don't know if I'll make it in time with so many friendlies charging in towards the enemy cap. I get caught up on some terrain, but not a big deal. Rolling through the valley. This is my best opportunity to get behind the Ag Tiger. ELC AMX gets knocked down by our Ferdinand. Team is closing on cap. Just the Ag Tiger remaining. The Ag Tiger is relit. While physics didn't do me any favors earlier in the match, in this case it allows me to quickly get past the small hill here and behind the enemy Yag Tiger. Slide around our T-29, get a rear shot on the Yag Tiger, bounce on his side, I'm aiming towards his rear plate now, I'll set him on fire, and I knock him down for the win. Looking at the after action screens, I destroyed 4 tanks, damaged 2 more, hit 20 of 26 shots, did 2,671 points of damage, and earned 1,322 experience non-premium before the double, which is just shy of 2,000 experience with premium.
Overall, I started off this match in a scouting type role going up the middle road to get early spots. This area though is more dangerous than it used to be due to the reduction in soft cover. Once I was spotted, I fell back but made a mistake getting behind hard cover on terrain that I was unable to climb back up. After making some attempts to escape, I made the best of a bad situation sitting behind soft cover and sniping into town. This worked out rather well as the main fight occurred as it frequently does around the church. Once the fight in town was over, I made another attempt to escape and was able to work my way out. I then flanked through the valley and was able to get behind the enemy Tiger, assisting my team in finishing him off. While this battle isn't necessarily one of my best ever in the T-71, it shows off how to be effective when you get stuck on terrain and not to give up in those situations. Rather than wasting my tank, I bided my time and did quite a bit of damage by the end of the match. Thank you for watching this What I'm Thinking debrief. Stay tuned for more content soon. Ha, 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 ha.